And lastly, you must have a rumbling engine. Okay. <laughs> Good evening, and welcome to the Spookin' Wheel Show. Yes, not the Spoken Wheel Show. Tonight, it's the Spookin' Wheel Show, since this is the Halloween special, where we'll be discussing all things cars that relates to Halloween, as you'll see. Behind us, we have placed the scariest looking cars in the collection. So you can see, the cars are getting a bit offended. It's a bit scary and unpredictable. Now, part of being an authentic Halloween special, we're filming at night, which was a pain to set up because of lighting reasons, but we have set up the spookiest stage out there, we think. So you can see, we have a lovely spook and wheel pumpkin. So what makes a good scary car? We don't know, but we finally found out for you. We have deep research went into this. So the first thing, the car needs to look very scary, hence why we have the scary cars and it's flickering as, it's as a bit you can see. Yes, the ghost is driving, but it's weird. The next thing, of course, it needs to be unreliable. How can you have a scary car that's not unreliable? It's just part of the process. And lastly, you must have a rumbling engine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, it is very unreliable. <laughs> yes, reliability <laughs> is an important thing. <laughs> Most importantly, it needs to have a rumbling engine. <laughs> and as you can see, that engine is it's clearly rumbling. rumbling. So moving on to the scariest reliable cars out there that are not reliable, so they're unreliable, but they're scary because of that. We start off with the air suspension on any Mercedes S-Class. If so you just, have not seen the air suspension on a Mercedes S-Class, it Mercedes. is because they don't work and that's why you haven't seen them. Next up, we have the transmission on a yellow 1959 Cadillac Sedan DeVille that Derek happens to own. What? That doesn't work. What? I mean, okay, I mean, okay, okay, just because it, it, it broke, it stopped. It stopped. It I stopped. Mean, no, it broke. We rectified the issue. Okay. Of course, quintessentially, any Italian car whatsoever is unreliable. It is basically the middle name of any Italian sports car. Hence why the biggest Italian car maker, Fiat, really stands for Fix It Again Tony. And of course, adding on to that, any Alfa Romeo, terrible with reliability. Now, in this very low quality image, you can see there is part of an Alfa Romeo Stelvio. <laughs> That's a new Alfa Romeo. And you have a guy standing on the road. And the guy standing on the road is the team principal of Ferrari, Mattia Bonato. So it proves that even if you are the wealthiest, most elite Italian person who happens to be working for Ferrari, you will still have unreliability issues because the company that owns Ferrari is Fiat. And of course, any British car with Lucas Electronics because... As we all know, Lucas Electronics don't electrify anything. If Lucas Electronics made the stage lights, this is what would happen. <laughs> As you can see in this photo, we have a Jaguar E-Type next to a Spitfire. It's a good thing uh, Lucas Electronics didn't make the wiring on the Spitfire, as that could have ended terribly. So moving on to the scariest looking cars. Okay, we clearly know this one is potentially scary looking, as uh, it speaks as well. There you go. First off, we have the Brewster Town Car, and as you can see, the front end is not exactly very pleasing. <laughs> Joey, would you like to illuminate on the subject? Not only is it not pleasing, it's just scary. I mean, the more you look at it, it's like, whoa. Next up, the 1959 Buick. It's scary. The front end looks like it's about to eat you alive. Yeah. It, it just looks like that. It's weird. Next up, potentially the scariest and weirdest car, the Gator car. This was a car I saw at some used car lot and uh, talk about commitment. They wrap the entire body in this weird Gator skin. It's a convertible, so great for parades. And then they wrap the wheels. I mean, look at this thing. It is the epitome of a scary car. Next up, the 1960 Plymouth. This car isn't too scary, but the more you look at it, the scarier it gets from the front end. It just looks like it's like coming in on you. It's like a fish. It's got eyebrows. It's got those wicked those witch eyebrows. weird eyebrows that are doing something and like this. It's got nostrils. Big and... nostrils, and then the fins, there's like a big tail of a catfish just ready to whack you. The Buick GNX. This car just looks like trouble from day one, <laughs> and it looks like 
some dictator with a mustache. Don't need to say any names. You know who I'm talking about. Totally not Joseph Stalin. But next up, the new Bugatti Bolide, not Boldy. Uh, this thing is just weird looking, but also pretty scary. It has a 1,825 horsepower W16 quad turbo engine. To let that sink in, that's 16 cylinders, four turbochargers, and then 1,825 horsepower, which essentially means it exists. No one's ever gonna use it. The rear end of the car looks like something out of Star Wars, like those X-Wing fighters. So there's a lot of missing bits of bodywork, as you can see. The car is being disassembled to be reassembled, and then not exactly reassembled fully. I mean, it's, it's missing sort half of the body. missing a lot of stuff. There's like weird holes, and I'm not so sure they're functional. Looking at the headlights, there's a big X, which as you know, the headlights are considered the eyes of the car. And in a cartoon, if you have a big X over the eyes, that means it's dead. <laughs> they also happen to render the car the very confusing Circuit Paul Ricard. So you can see in this image, this circuit is just an optical illusion. As you can see here, it is a maze, literally. I mean, la. Moving on to one of the scariest Halloween stories out there. The scary story, reliable. Auto carriers. Dun, dun, dun. A car is really getting concerning at this point. <laughs> Maybe we should move the set. Oh no, we took too much time setting up the yes. lights. Moving oh, and there's a bat above my head now. Oh no. Now this truck is just a curse. No matter when you see it, something bad happens. First clue, well, it's the Halloween colors, orange and black. That's pretty evident. And it literally says reliable on it, which means it's reliable, not you. Yeah, it's unreliable. So we're gonna start off and share some stories about some of our own cars and experiences with reliable auto carriers. Sort of like Joey's Lexus's exhaust leak that happened a couple years back. That did happen. We saw one of these and what happened the next day? Car and exhaust leak. Maybe Joey's Mercedes Benz's air conditioning not working. We saw one of these on the way to Vegas and the air conditioning happened to go out. That was painful. His Mercedes navigation on his S-Class, which is not working. We also saw that on the way to Vegas and that was again a disaster. You didn't end up in the same place, did you? No. Maybe the Mercedes air suspension, which has been replaced, oh, I'm sorry, what, six times on your Mercedes? We don't think we need to say the number. It oh, doesn't add any value. I mean, it does it add does. quite a bit of value to the story, but the point is we have seen too many of these trucks, and the more you see the trucks, the worse the problem will be. And of course, maybe the rat taking a nap in the Mercedes-Benz engine bay, which might have caused a bit of problems. The rat did take a nap in the Mercedes-Benz engine bay after we did see one of these on the road. However, the rat didn't actually eat the engine, which tells you the engine's probably not good tasting, which means the engine needs to be rebuilt. That's even scarier. And then maybe the Porsche fan belt exploded and something sort of started knocking under your engine, Joey, and well, maybe your mom got as I said, concerned. The more you see these trucks, the worse problem gets. And that day we saw five of these trucks, five. So it was a level five problem and it blew, you lost power steering. It was the alternator belt, I believe. My mechanics in cars is um, terrible. I know, I know. Not that you know anything about cars. I mean, you do, but the point That's is- That's my line, Joey. Yes. The point is, the car had some issues and we got it fixed, but it was not good. Now, if you thought I'm the only one with reliability issues, let Which me tell you is. some of his stories. They're pretty bad. First off, we have the transmission on a 1959 Cadillac. Well, okay, okay, okay. It's a 50 year old car. No, no, it doesn't okay. work. It okay, thank you. Next up, we have the cooler lines on a 1959 okay, Cadillac. Okay, well see, the thing is, is you know, we had to disconnect it and it, it snapped and then, I mean. Did you see a reliable auto carrier well, truck Well, we were driving the day before and then there was reliable. Okay, there you go. Next, we have the 1959 Cadillac harmonic balancer. Well, okay, so we were driving and then we were, saw the reliable auto carriers and then, okay, the car started making a funny noise. I mean, but okay, we had to get it replaced, Jenny. It's a 50-year-old so car. So it sounds like, uh, it's a 50, sounds like the car was not in good 50, harmony there. 50. <laughs> Next up, we have the 1959 Cadillac radiator. Okay, well, okay, we were driving, and then we saw the reliable all carriers, and then, you know, okay, it might have started leaking. Well, it did. Well, it did. Well, it might have. It did. Well, it might have. Well, he did we have to sign. It anyway, he did have to but... sign a non-disclosure agreement for this show, so that's why we can't give you the answer. <laughs> but it might have. Next up, we have the 1959 Cadillac generator. Well, let me explain. So we saw the reliable auto carriers, and so we took the radiator out, and then the radiator hit the generator belt, and the generator belt pulled the alternator to the side, and the alternator wire came out, and then it pulled the socket inside, and the wires got all mat jangled, and then. And finally, the 1959 Cadillac front wheel bearing. Uh, uh. 
clunking noise from the front of the car, which we won't have to get into because of the NDA. No, we have time. Please get into this. No, no, no. We have the NDA. Mm. The non-disclosure agreement that we both signed do clearly state... He is reserving we do the right not, to remain we, silent. We do not have to say anything that can incriminate any of the... Vi well, there you have it. The spookiest cars on the street. On the Spookin' Wheel Show, not the Spoken Wheel Show. Spookin' Wheel Not show. to be wrong. Not to be wrong. Very clever name, we just had an I don't know. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more content to come. As always, I'm Joey. And I'm Derek, and thank you for watching. And we'll see you next time. Hopefully. I hope so. Did you hear that? I didn't hear anything, did you? I did not. Did you see anything? No. I thought I heard something. Why are the lights on on the car? Did you notice that? Huh. It's a bit odd. All right. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.